Hi, I'm Linus Sun, Associate Medical Director at Denali Therapeutics. I'm delighted to present our poster for the 2022 MNDA Virtual Symposium. Today, we will share preclinical data as well as Phase 1 and Interim Phase 1B data from participants with ALS. Chronic activation of the Integrated Stress Response, or ISR, may contribute to ALS by blocking translation, altering RNA and endosomal trafficking, and increasing the association of TDP43 with stress granules. DNL343 is a small molecule that inhibits the ISR by activating eukaryotic initiation factor 2B, a key regulator, thus reversing stress granule formation and suppressing ISR biomarkers ATF4 and CHAC1. We show that eye neurons derived from patients with mutant C9 repeats increase their stress granule formation and treatment with DNL343 prevents this. Our EIF2B mutant mouse studies demonstrated that DNL343 penetrates the blood-brain barrier exhibits robust ISR inhibition in brain, and corrects its motor deficits. A phase one study was conducted in healthy volunteers as summarized in the poster and met all safety PK and PD goals, supporting initiation of our phase 1B study of DNL343 in participants with ALS. In an interim analysis of 20 participants in the currently ongoing phase 1B trial, participants with ALS were randomized to one of two dose levels of DNL343 or placebo in a 28-day double-blind treatment period followed by an ongoing 18-month open-label extension. Data cutoff was in September 2022. At that time, the median duration of the OLE participation was 1.8 months. In the double-blind period, DNL343 was generally safe and well-tolerated at both doses. There were no SAEs and all adverse events were grade one or two. One early discontinuation occurred due to a grade two AE of rash, the most common adverse events related to DNL343 were fatigue and headache, all grade one. DNL343 plasma concentrations were dose dependent, had a long plasma half-life and extensive CSF distribution, supporting once daily dosing. Measured at trough, DNL343 broadly inhibited ISR biomarkers at both dose levels in participants with ALS. In conclusion, phase one and interim phase 1B double-blind clinical results show that DNL343 has a PK profile that supports once daily dosing, robustly inhibits the integrated stress response, and is generally safe and well tolerated. These data support further development of DNL343 as a potential therapeutic for the treatment of ALS. And most importantly, we would like to acknowledge and thank the participants, clinical trial site staff, and investigators for their participation in this trial.